In this video, we are back for another episode of my Trading to 1 Million Coins series. This is a series where we go through and trade from zero coins to 1 million coins on a next gen console. Let's last day today to enter my giveaway for a £25 gift card on Amazon, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you want. All you need to do is like this video, subscribe if you're new, send me a picture on Instagram. I will be announcing it tonight or probably around 9 p.m. there or thereabouts. Like target on this video is going to be over 500 likes as well. If you're enjoying this series, drop a like on it because I'm really, really enjoying making it. Let's get into this video. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of buy this card before it's too late because basically in this video, I'm going to be talking to you lads about a couple of different investments that I have been making as a result of Team of the Week coming out on Wednesday. Now, with Wednesday, we are going to be getting a new Team of the Week and there are so many different investments that you can make right now. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you lads. I have already recorded this video and now I am re-recording it because initially I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to try for Marshall for investing and to be honest, he's been okay to do trading with but I don't know if I would really recommend him as an investment. The main reason why I was thinking that he was going to get in Team of the Week is because he did actually get a goal and an assist in the Sheffield United game. Now, Rashford did actually get himself two goals. However, Rashford has a special card every other week in FIFA, so I thought he might be a decent one to go and get. However, I've been trading with Martial and to be honest, lads, with this video you can trade with every single player that I'll show you in this, but what we're going to be doing mainly is talking about out-of-pack investing. Now, the reason why I'm re-recording this is because a certain man called McTominay has just done a madness. He has actually broke a Premier League record and scored himself two goals within a couple of minutes, and I've actually been doing loads of trading with McTominay. Now, as you can see right now, on the market, he is actually going for around 1.5k the, or the abouts. Now, initially, when he scored those goals, he surged up so, so high in price. Now, in my opinion, if anyone gets a team of the week from the United game, it's going to be McTominay, mainly because he brought that record. Now, back in FIFA 15 or FIFA 16, I think it was, we actually got a record breaker card for Mane because he scored the quickest goal in Premier League history. Now, McTominay has actually brought broken that record, not with the quickest goal, but with the quickest goals, plural, being scored, with that being two goals. So in my opinion, I think that we are going to be getting ourselves a record breaker McTominay, and he is actually one of the players who I would recommend to go and invest in right now. Now, I wouldn't pay 1.5k. If anything, I wouldn't pay any more than 1,000 to 1,200 coins. I have personally paid as high as 1.4k. However, for you, Leds, with the price coming down ever so slightly, I'd recommend to go for around 1,000 coins when you are sniping. Him. Now, this is going to be the first card who I would recommend to pick up as an out-of-pack investment. Now, what out-of-pack investing is, is basically investing in cards who you think are going to get into the team of the week because they're going to be going out of packs. When they go out of packs, they naturally rise up in price because the demand will stay usually about the same, but the supply will be shortened because they're not in packs anymore because the team of the week cards in packs so naturally this card will rise now i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by this with a player called kundi now with kundi last week he was actually going for around 2.5k now he's actually going for around 3.8k because he is out of packs and this is exactly what i'm talking about now kundi was actually one of my trades that i did actually get the other day i've just got a shadow on him there and i'll show you something on screen now ignore my unassigned for the minute i'll show you something on screen now of me going through my old transfer list. I'm currently on around 200,000 coins on this series and I was actually trading quite a bit with Kunde because he was actually going out of packs and you can make very, very nice profit by doing this out of pack investing. Hence why I'm telling you lads about McTominay. Honestly, I think if anyone gets a team of the week, it is going to be him. In my opinion, I think that he will go up around a K, 2K. I'm honestly not too sure. However, only spend as much as you can afford to lose, Leds. With this being a series, I'm pretty much risking everything with this. But you can see right here that he does actually come up for minimum price. And if you're getting at minimum price, you're not really risking too much, in my opinion. It's, it's not really too big of a risk because you can sell at minimum price again and lose maybe... 
150, 200 coins per card. And realistically, say if you go and buy 100 of them, it's only 20k to potentially be getting a hell of a lot more back. Now, as you'll be able to see though, I have actually started to go unassigned with McTominay. And I'm going to show you lads exactly how much I've paid for a lot of these cards. As you can see right here, 850 coins, 1,100, 950, 1,400, 1,315, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Oh, I tell a lie, I didn't realize I went that high with him. But either way though, lads, you can see right here that I've got loads of different cards off him and I plan on selling him for 2,000 coins or above over the next week. And this is what out of pack investing is. And I would highly recommend for you lads to do this as well. Now, if you're wanting someone the tiniest bit more expensive, one player in particular who I do like the look of is going to be Roberto Firmino. Now, the reason why I'm saying Firmino is because obviously Liverpool had that amazing, amazing game and Firmino did actually get himself two goals and assists as far as I'm aware. Now, a lot of people may say, well, Salah did really 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 well however lads if you're doing out of pack investing don't pick up cards who have recently had a team of the week it usually falls in with like a three week period because that is the three week rule which EA actually implement on players who they choose the team of the week so say for example a player already has an inform within three weeks of when you think they're going to be getting one, they won't be featured in Team of the Week. However, with Firmino, I feel like that he could actually get into the Team of the Week and he could actually go quite high in price. Now, the reason why I do like Firmino is, say for example, you've got a team, right? And you are looking for a centre mid to play for you from Brazil and from the Premier League. Oh, damn it. Firmino does actually fit that demographic very, very well because he's a really, really good card and a lot of people do use him for foot champs. So there is actually quite a high demand for it. Now, in my opinion, I reckon, I, I honestly think he could go to like 39, 40K, maybe even as high as 45K if he is chosen for Team of the Week. If he isn't chosen for Team of the Week, he's going to plummet in price. Likewise with McTominay as well. What we're basically hoping to do is just slowly but surely sell off these cards in the run-up to Team of the Week and then if they are featured in Team of the Week, carry on to sell them because they will go for a hell of a lot more. So you've got McTominay so far. You've also got Roberto Firmino. There are so many different cards who you can go and take a look at for out of pack investing. If you wait right there as well, I'll show you lads exactly how I find the players to do this with as well. And to be honest, if you go and find your own players, you can make a hell of a lot more coins. So lads, if you're looking for players for Team of the Week contenders, what I'd recommend to do is come over to Fort Bin, go over to the live tab up here and go to team of the week contenders and this will show you everybody who is in contention for the team of the week now when you're choosing the players to go and do sniping with or investing with you mainly want to focus on players who have won in the game so say for example with Stindle right here he admittedly he did get himself a hat trick however he drew 3-3 with much in gladback so it's probably not the best deal in the world to go for him. Other people who I do like the look of at the minute is Benzema. He could be another one that you go and trade with. All of these can be done without a pack investing or if you're looking for players to snipe, just snipe the players that I've shown in this. So McTominay, Firmino, Benzema. Other ones could be Suarez. You've got Diaby as well. You've got Quagulera as well who could be another good one in a 3-1 win right here. In my opinion though, for the lower ones, I think it is going to be Diaby because he does actually get the 4-0 win here and he gets himself an assist and a goal. Over here, you've got Benzema in the 3-1 win and this is basically what I'm doing. I'm looking at cards who won in their game. So Diata could be a perfect one. This is actually a card who regularly gets featured in different SBC requirements. So his demand could actually stay the same. And with him being a goal common, he could go a hell of a lot higher as well. So jumping back over to my console, what I would do is just keep working my way through that list and trading around those players. Or if I want to keep them for longer, I can keep them for longer and make a hell of a lot of coins. So you've got Diata right here who's going at the minute for 850 coins. I am just looking for his normal gold common though at this stage. And as you can see right here, he is already high in price. There's one there at 1.2. I want to see what his next one up is before I do pick that one up at 1.2. So yeah, I don't know. For me, he is already the tiniest bit too inflated. I would prefer to try and get him for under under a thousand coins. However, with squad battles rewards tonight, there could actually be a bit of a mini buying window for these cards. And as you can see right here, they're getting picked up very, very quickly. So this is exactly what you can do. Let's sit here, do some sniping around these cards. You honestly will be able to make very, very nice coins by doing this. Any cards who have got hype around them, usually are good to trade with. So whether it's a new card in FIFA or whether it's someone who's going to be getting a new card in FIFA, they usually go for a hell of a lot. And there's usually good hype around them, which means that they are good to trade with because they will fluctuate 
it so, so much. But lads, with me having all of these unassigned right here, I need to go and get myself more McTominay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and snipe McTominay just for like maybe five minutes just to see what I can actually see. Maybe I'll find some for minimum price. I'm honestly not too sure. And if I can add any more cards to that massive collection that I've already got, I'll be pretty happy with that. So at the minute on the market, he's going for 1.4k and there's some popping up as low as 950 coins. So with this one, like I said, go for a thousand coins and then do some sniping. So I'll tell you what, let's try and get a snipe on this card and then we'll wrap this video up. Oh, damn it. Minimum price. Oh, I've actually managed to get him. And I messed up the snipe as well. Now, this is how easy it is with this method, lads. You can still mess up because people won't have bots on these cards already, sniping them for dead, dead cheap. So we've just got one here for 750 coins. However, it is actually his Champions League version, which is absolutely mad. So it's that one there at 1.1. Christ, there's well too many cards in here, isn't there? Let's take a look. 1-3, damn it. Uh, this one right here, 750 coins. So like I said, you can go and do trading with these if you want to already. So at the minute, he's actually selling for around 2,000 coins. Wow, 2,000 coins, 1.9. So we've actually got ourselves a very, very nice deal. One selling at 1.6. So with this one, I'll just list him up at 1.4k just to show you lads how effective this method can be. And I bet that if we go over to my transfer list, he will sell on very, very quickly. And you can see all these cards as well, lads, that I've been trading with recently. These are all from my stream. So if you're looking to see me do live trading on this series, come and check me out. I'm pretty much streaming daily at the minute, but we're just going to wait just to see if McTominay sells on. If he could sell on pretty quick, that would be uh, absolutely lovely, but um, it doesn't look like he's selling on just yet. And there we go. He sold on. Lovely stuff. Lads, that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. I hope that you did actually enjoy it. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the Team of the Week tracker in the description, and you can go and find some of these players for yourself. But, lads, that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. This was a video called buy this car before it's too late as part of my trading to 1 million coin series if you're enjoying this series like i am drop a massive like on it comment down below if you need any help with any trading methods or anything else in fifa subscribe if you're new but this is 86 lewis and i am off goodbye